Hi Pisces, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your general monthly tarot reading for the month of April 2021. And I do want to take this moment to thank you in advance for liking this video, leaving me a comment and subscribing to this lovely channel if you haven't already. And when subscribing, don't forget that little notification bell, all right? And when meditating on your energy overall for the month, the message that came through was preparing for it all, preparing for it all. So let's get started. We're going to begin by pulling a couple of messages from the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. Now do keep in mind this is a general monthly reading for the sign of Pisces. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else, and do check out your other chart placements for more messages. Alrighty, now let's begin. What do we have for our beautiful Pisces for the month of April 2021 to begin this reading? Thank you, Spirit. We got one. What else do we have? Thank you, Spirit. What else do we have? All right, we're going to go with those two. So we're beginning with Mouse Spirit. Tend to the small things. There's a feeling that at times, Pisces, you stress yourself out by uh, seeing the larger picture, your goals, what you want to achieve. Uh, being so dedicated and driven towards those the completion of those goals uh, that you tend to forget about certain details certain fine um yeah details in general um so spirit in the universe is advising you pushing you guiding you to focus on certain details that you may regret overlooking uh along the way or down the line okay and moving on to the second card we have bobcat spirit life is a mystery So you're going to be reminded this month by, um, in general, that your life isn't as as it used to be, okay? That life is a mystery, that you need to trust in that mystery and how things are meant to unravel. I'm seeing the two of swords in my mind's eye. And if you think about that imagery, there's the blindfold and the, the swords. And they're saying that um, you'll know the way uh, along the way. Interesting. And to sort of trust in that mystery while trusting your own intuition, your own inner knowing, and not allowing yourself to stress over what's to come. Beautiful. Good start. Let's continue by pulling six tarot cards, a simple six card spread for the month. Uh, what do we have to continue this monthly reading for Pisces? Thank you, Spirit, for April. All right, we're up to four. And we're going to pull the uh, remaining two, excuse me, right from the top of the deck. Queen. With the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, uh, they're wanting me to remind you, or you're going to be reminded on several occasions this month, to trust that beautiful uh, Pisces intuition. To allow yourself to, as you prepare for it all, as you uh, get yourself what feels like excited uh, for what's to come, for what's to unravel, even though you fully don't know how that's going to come to be. They're saying, once again, trust trust in what you already know, all right? Trust in what's being, uh, what you're being reminded of this month. So to start off the month in the spread, we have the Four of Wands. So you begin the month, my friend, feeling the need to uh, celebrate. Oh, they want me to clarify this, just one moment. What do we have this four of wands? Okay, so something you put effort into, uh, worked on in the past, or something you've been thinking about for a while that you haven't started, uh, there's this moment to begin the month, or at the end of uh, March, where it leaves you, uh, it's giving you the opportunity to go after it once again, or to start that for the first time. And because we have the Six of Cups and the Chariot. And so with the Chariot, you go after it, my friend, and it gives you this immediate success or this immediate um, sense of celebration, wanting, feeling a bit more balanced already. I'm hearing, where has this been all of my life? It was meant to happen now, my friend. And with the Moon card being the third clarifier, 
there's a feeling that certain emotions might resurface at this point. It's like from all you've been through, from how hard you've worked up until this point. Um, this is what kind of initiates the preparing for it all moving forward. And Spirit is saying it was purposeful to get you excited, to get you in the right mindset, to expect the best, to prepare for the best. Being side by side with this uh, mouse spirit, tend to the small things. There's a feeling though that you'll get reminded to begin the month, even though you're excited, even though you're ready to go, even though you're seeing things from a larger perspective, which is good to an extent. Again, they're going to remind you to pay attention to certain details moving forward, uh, to not regret anything, especially since you're beginning or um, recently began this new endeavor. Okay? Moving right along, we have the Ten of Swords. You're also going to clarify this one, my friend. What do we have for this Ten of Swords for Pisces? All right, my friend, so this is a situation that's coming to an end that is going to vary from case to case, whether it's an individual, whether it's a group of people, whether it's a job, a home situation. Either way, we have the devil and the five of wands. It is a chaotic, uh, unhealthy situation, all right? If it's a person, the energy is toxic. It's this point in the month where they're reminding you, you're not letting anybody or anything hold you back. I mean, you were just starting the month with a sense of celebration, balance, uh, with the chariot going after what you want and deserve. And to allow certain energies or a situation that is a bit toxic or unhealthy, chaotic at the very least, to come in and no, absolutely not. So with the Ten of Swords, a spirit in the universe is so proud to see you putting an end to uh, what no longer works for you. And we're moving on to, oh, with the Justice being the other card that came out, my friend, I'm so sorry, as a clarifier, uh, reminding you that once you make this change, it's going to be so easy for Spirit and the Universe to help you balance out the scales, to give you your own sense of justice. It's like you're giving, you're initiating your own sense of justice uh, to be instilled by making this necessary change. Good for you. The Hierophant in reverse to move right along. And so you make your way to wrap up the first half of the month and you're not feeling so uh, excited, right? You're not feeling very connected to the universe and spirit as well. And they're saying it's just the aftermath and the initial aftermath um, in feeling from this Ten of Swords moment, from the ending of that situation. It will, it, you'll shake it off, all right? But there's a need for you to get more connected to spirit and universe at this point in the month. We're moving into the second half. We're moving on to the Ace of Wands. To begin the second half of the month, my friend, there's, um, we're going to clarify first, just a moment. What do we have for this Ace of Wands? Absolutely. So we got the Tower card for the Ace of Wands, and so they're reminding you that um, whatever has left your life recently, including that situation from earlier on, it, there's a fresh start ahead. And it, this this feeling that you do get more connected at this point in the month to spirit, to the universe, uh, while your intuition just is on fire, and they're saying trust that intuition. Trust it, my friend. Being aligned with the Four of Wands, they're saying that this uh, this reminder of what's ahead of this fresh start, the replacement of what no longer worked for you, uh, is going to leave you once again with this sense of uh, this newfound sense of balance and celebration in your life. Uh, and spirit is looking at you, saying, "See, you gotta trust." And being side by side with this Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery. It's at this point in the month where you're reminded once again to trust in the mystery of how things are meant to unravel. Trust in your intuition. Trust in spirit in the universe. Alrighty, my friend. We're moving on to the Queen of Wands. So you make your way to the middle of the second half of the month and you're feeling more content, more peaceful, but more passionate. It's like all of which leading up until this point has benefited you in this way. It's like you... Your inner knowing is now uh, something you'll trust moving forward. Your inner uh, voice, your intuition, right? 
being like the Ten of Swords, you'll fully, it'll fully click at this point in the month if it hasn't already, um, that the completion of this Ten of Swords moment, or whatever it ended up being for you once again, has left you feeling more passionate, more content, more free. Three of Pentacles. And so you make your way to wrap up the uh, second half of the month, the month in general, and in comes this recognition, appreciation, uh, people sort of noticing you for all of the changes you're making for uh, for a good amount of you for this Ten of Swords moment, for putting an end to what no longer worked for you. Allowing for this recognition, appreciation, this gift of um, people noticing you to uplift you, to move you into the following month feeling stronger than ever, feeling great about you. Being in line with the Hierophant in reverse, it's at this point in the month where you can't help but think back to when you weren't feeling so great and they're saying, remember, that was just an initial feeling from the ending of that situation and there's nothing but success and happiness that lies ahead for you, okay? Let this um, recognition, appreciation once again motivate you to continue to prepare for it all, to continue to see the best, expect the best as you move forward, all right? So let's finish off this beautiful reading by pulling a message or two from the Small Star Seeds deck. All right, what do we have for Pisces to wrap up this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, I love it. No limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There's much for you to share. Reminding you, my friend, that as you prepare for it all, as you continue to strive for all that you deserve in this lifetime, you have no limitations. Um, allowing yourself to just go for it. Prepare for it all. All right? So on that note, my friend, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, of course, uh, leave me a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing month and I'll see you next time. Bye.